Number 1. Makoto. Makoto is one of the top Asian restaurants in the area, located in the ritzy ball harbor shops. This modern Japanese spot is the dream child of James Beard semi-finalist Steven Starr and Iron Chef competitor Makoto Okoa. Chef Okoa has over 20 years of experience and was once head chef at Morimoto New York and Philadelphia. You can also grab a quick cocktail at the lively bar. Number 2. Mignonette. Once a 1930s era gas station and later a 1980s diner, this oyster bar has become quite a hit with folks in Edgewater and the adjacent Midtown and Wynwood neighborhoods. Owned by Blue Collar's own Danny Surfer and Ryan Roman, it's the perfect spot to satiate your seafood cravings. Peel and eat shrimp, caviar, rainbow trout, seared scallops, crab cakes, and oysters both raw and Rockefeller are all on the menu. Number 3. Waku. No one can deny the majesty of the Andes Mountains. They've been the inspiration of countless locals, climbers, artists, travelers, even restaurateurs. At least, that's the case for Diego D'Alvia, owner of Waku, one of the hottest new dining concepts to hit Miami's Wynwood neighborhood. D'Alvia has created a culinary venture that celebrates Quechua culture in everything from the menu to the decor, while fusing it with additional Latin American styles and flavors. Number 4. Arit. The Grove has undergone several transformations over the past few years, but no one can deny that one of its improvements came in the form of a gem known as Arit. This delightful, farmhouse-inspired restaurant nestled behind and beneath the lush greenery on Main Highway opened in 2016 and regularly receives praise from critics and everyday folks alike. Number 5. Planta. Vegan and plant-based diets have slowly been gaining popularity around the country, and Miami is no different. While some older establishments in the scene have come and gone, we're happy that Planta, a fully plant-based restaurant on South Beach, is still making a splash since its opening. The original Planta opened in Toronto several years back, and when hospitality and entertainment mogul David Grutman happened upon the vegan Canadian favorite, he decided to bring it back to the 305. Number 6. Amber Suite. Stepping into the outdoor dining area of Amber Suite, one of Mid Beach's latest offerings, you're instantly transported to the retro aesthetic of the Magic City. Located inside the Confidant Hotel, it's the perfect place for guests or visitors to grab a delightfully satisfying breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Named after the fruit by the same name, you'll certainly find the menu just as light and refreshing. Number 7. Nobu Miami Beach. The Miami location of world-famous chef Nobu Matsuhisa's chain of restaurants was once inside the Shore Club, but now enjoys a premium place within the Nobu Hotel, now part of the renowned Eden Rock. But despite its short move a few blocks away, you'll quickly notice Nobu still retains its reputation top-notch cuisine, as well as being the preferred sushi spot of local celebs. If it's your first time, don't be shy. Number 8. Matador Room. Matador Room made its debut on the Miami Beach food scene toward the end of 2014, just shortly after the Edition Hotel opened. Run by Michelin-starred chef Jean-Georges Von Drichten, you'll find a Latin-inspired menu, with flavors mainly hailing from the Caribbean, Spain, and South America. Number 9. Bulla Gastrobar. It was only a matter of time for Miami to embrace the sheer beauty of eating tapas. These Spanish-style gastrobars have been slowly popping up around town, but the one folks won't stop chatting about is bulla. Pronounced Buya. Which you know folks love saying, this exciting eatery created by poor Finn's Carlos Centurion has exploded from a trendy tapas spot for locals into a fast-growing concept now with locations in Texas, Georgia, and North Carolina. Number 10. LA Sandwichery. After a hard night of clubbing or bar hopping, nothing's better than a hefty sandwich from this walk-up counter right off Collins Avenue. Crusty French bread is piled high with your choice of meats, from turkey and prosciutto to pâté, and smoked salmon, cheeses, fresh mozzarella, Swiss, brie, and condiments, never skip the cornicons. I hope you found some of these top 10 places interesting, and have time to see some of them during your next trip. 
Don't forget to tell us about the places you visit in comment section. Do like our video and also share it with your family and friends. And don't forget to subscribe our channel for more videos like this.